Hello and welcome to Stefan Egger's Demo Reel. Today we're going to be looking at projects that Stefan has helped both produce and create. First, we're going to watch a segment from a Halloween themed talk show entitled Figures of the Paranormal. Hello everyone and welcome to Figures of Paranormal. I'm your host, Kaylee Bermudez. Seeing as this is our first show, we figured we need to start out with someone pretty prominent. So today, amidst the chaotic outbreak, we managed to get a real life zombie, Ben. Now I know the question on everybody's mind is, are zombies depicted pretty accurately in things like film and television? Quite the opposite, actually. Oftentimes we're just shown as people that hobble around and bobble, and we're never seen as people that have minds or people more so to not be fearful of. We're misinterpreted. Um, but within this new line of work I've been in, it's given me a new chance of a career path and one I would have never expected had it not. We're now going to look at a segment from a news feature story on Jacob Harper, an aspiring filmmaker, both shot and edited by Stefan. Take a look. Well, I, for, me, what, for me personally, what makes the film meaningful is that I had fun watching it. I was invested. I was excited. Like, I cared. My eyes were glued to the screen. And like, what makes that happen is like, you gotta have some really weird, fun shit in there. And that's for me personally. Now there's a lot of movies that don't have goofy fun shit that I love. And it's just about investment. You gotta make it where I want to know what happens at the end. I want to care about the characters. I want to care about the story. And nine times out of 10, how that happens for me. What makes the movie memorable for me is that I had fun watching it. Like Willy's Wonderland, for example. That's a really goofy, stupid movie. But I had a lot of fun watching it. And so that's a film I remember fondly that I'm sure to rewatch in the future. And I already have, but like, you can rewatch in the future. And that's something that makes it stand the test of time, rewatchability. There are movies that I, that I just don't see myself rewatching. They're good, but I don't see myself rewatching them. But if it says the test of time, I'm going to keep coming back to them. Like all through uh, when I was a kid, I rewatched Star Wars, Indiana Jones, because they are fun, they're investing, they're exciting. So I rewatched them, and they stood the test of time. They were made in the 80s, and I was watching them when I was a kid in elementary school in the early 2000s. You know, they stood the test of time. My parents remembered them. They showed them to me. I'm going to show them to my kids one day. You know, it's, it's got to be memorable. You got to make it worth remembering. You got to make it investing. So that's, that's why I think it makes a meaningful film. Think about what you like doing and find a way to make that a career. There's always, whatever you do, there's someone that wants to do something with that. So if you're a storyteller, tell stories to find a way to do that in a lucrative way. Um, you know, whatever you like to do, find a way to make money off it and do it. That's the key to a happy life. Do you, do you vibe with the homies? Of course. And, and, and who are the homies? You don't have to say names. The homies are the homies, dude. I just vibe, crack, crack open some, some drinks, watch shitty YouTube videos. <laughs> that's, that's, the best way to, uh, that's the best way to spend time. No, I agree. I, I really agree. Finally, we'll be taking a look at a scene from a short film that Stefan co-directed. Hand me the wallet. It's in the cupboard. You keep your wallet in the cupboard? Doesn't everyone do that? Whatever, just grab it. Yes, yes, I will get my cupboard from the wall. No, yes. Yes, okay. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching.